This video will show you how you can convert a portrait video to a landscape inside a CapCut and I'll show you the options that you've got. So first import the portrait video. So you can either click import and open up the file explorer or you can just drag the clip on if you've already got it open. I'm going to use this clip here from my download. So we'll click it, we'll click open. And as you can see, when we drag it on, it is a portrait video. So we want to convert this to landscape. How do we do it? So first we need to understand because it's a portrait video, you can't magically make any pixels appear in the landscape format. But to change it to landscape format first, uh, go to 9 by 16 or it might be called just ratio. But you're looking for this rectangle box here and it should be to the bottom right of your video. And then you can change it from 9 by 16 to 16 by 9 and that's going to be the format here for YouTube and any long form video. Now what we can do, we've got a couple of options right now. The first option is just to click on the video and then go to the dots in any corner and just make this bigger and essentially make the video cover the whole screen. Now by doing that, you're only going to get a small section of the video on the screen and that might work for you. It might not. The other option, you can essentially duplicate it and like have the clip play at the same time, but in the background and then have the background blurred. To do that, you want to right click and copy and then just click on the timeline, right click and paste. And that's going to then, obviously you're going to create two clips. Now with the bottom section, what you can do with the bottom clip selected, you can bring this so it fills the screen. So you've essentially got this bottom clip here playing at the same time. And we can essentially then blur the bottom clip. And that's going to allow us to have the vertical clip playing, but we're going to not suffer any black bars. So click on the bottom clip, then go to effects, then type in blur. And you need to find a blur effect that's going to work good for you. So click enter. And then I'm going to drag this blur effect onto the bottom clip. And here you can choose how blurry you want it to be. It can go all the way up to 100%. And then when you play the clip, you're going to have the whole vertical clip, but you're going to have the background playing also, but the background will be blurred. So that's just two ways that you can do it. I hope those ways were helpful. Let me know if they were in the comments.